we're going to talk quickly about graduated filters. And I'm going to show you how to use them just very quickly. It's nothing super in-depth. I want to encourage you just to play around. Um, there's no real wrong way to use these. And they're just a lot of fun and very helpful. So the first thing I'm going to do to show you is where the graduated filter is located. And if you look at your local adjustments toolbar here, we have um, the graduated filter looks like a rectangle on end. And in Lightroom 5, it is right next to the radial filter and the red eye removal. And if it, you're in Lightroom 4, it's in between the red eye removal and the brush. But it looks like a rectangle on its end. And if you click on it, you'll notice that the list you have is the exact same list as in the brushes. And that's because all the they all go in the same uh, folder. They go in the local adjustment folder. So if you have bought any custom brushes, then you have those accessible to you in the graduate filter. So I'm going to use um, the uh, ColourPop brush in the um, Color Lux that just came out. So I'm, this is straight out of the camera, and I'm just going to like get the colors to pop a little bit, add a little bit of contrast, and then I'm going to brighten a little bit. So once you click on it, and it's like a cross or like a plus sign, isn't it, right there? And for those who need me to slow down a little bit, if you're wondering how I got to that list, find the word effect after you've hit the graduated filter icon, and then whatever is showing up right here, just click on that word. So it might be, you know, highlights. Who knows what it says? It might say custom, and if it says custom, just click on it, and then the list will show out, uh, pop out for you, and I'm going to go down and click on color pop. So now I'm just going to come in here and click somewhere on the image, click and then drag. So as I drag out, the effect is strongest over here at this edge and it gradually tapers off. So I'm going to do the same side down here. Okay, You can do every corner if you wanted to, or just a couple corners. It just depends on what you want. So we've got that. Now I'm going to click New because I want another one. I want uh, the Brighten brush. And I'm going to brighten from this edge out. Okay, And um, if you want it a little bit stronger, then you can click on it and use the arrow keys, all right? Oh, I'm sorry, that's on my Mac here. Yep, use the arrow, I'm going to the uh, arrow right and it's going to increase the strength for me and it's gradual, so you're not noticing it. I'd have to keep on doing it. Or you can always just hit new and come down here and do it again. So we can brighten again from this edge. And when you're done, you can hit done. Or while you have it active, if you want to see what it looks like before and after, then we can click on this little uh, white box down here. That's before and that's after. If you want to get rid of the pins or not get rid of them, but um, see what it looks like without them, I can just click auto. And that way, if I'm not in the image, then they don't show up. So when I'm over here, they won't show up. But if I move in, they show up. So before and after. Before and after. If you want to get rid of the graduated filter that you use, just click on it and then hit delete and it'll go away. And there you go, graduated filters. Start strong and gradually taper off. Enjoy.